Is Theresa May going to point the finger at Russia shortly? Well, we'll have to wait and see what she says, and we'll be looking to see what the quality of the evidence is, and that will be very important because if you're going to convince third parties to join you in this action, they will need to be convinced that there is a real trail and it points in a particular direction. Then people will want to look at what sort of measures she may announce today. And what sort of measures might we see? People are talking about expanding or introducing a UK version of the so-called Magnitsky Act. Well, what you need are measures that are rational, that are targeted, uh, and that are indeed very firm because there have been far too many examples over the last 10 years of Russia completely ignoring uh, international law. But they need to be targeted against the people and organizations who are thought to be responsible for this act. Uh, you need to be careful not to play into the hands of people in Russia who want to deepen Russia's isolation because it gives them more power. The Russian people are not our enemies. Uh, the Russian people would not be proud to think that uh, their representatives are spreading nerve agents around an English country town. So that's why they have got to be smart. And the most important thing of all is that they need to be the sort of measures for which you can get wider support among your Western allies, because the United Kingdom alone cannot have a big impact on Russia. Uh, you need to act collectively, as the West did over Crimea. Unfortunately, the West at the moment is rather fragmented because of transatlantic tensions, Brexit, fissures within Europe. So it's not easy to do, but that's absolutely vital. Roderick, as we here in the US await the special counsel, Robert Mueller is, you know, finishing up of his investigations into Russian meddling in the campaign and also our own president's obstruction of justice and so on. Give us an update on what the UK relationship with Russia is like. Uh, the UK relationship with Russia is about as bad as your relationship with Russia. Uh, not through our design, but simply because of events that have happened that have driven us apart from Russia. We wanted and we spent many years building a partnership with Russia, as did the United States. But we've had a series of events, particularly over the last three or four years, the annexation of Crimea and so on, that have driven us apart. And so our relationship with Russia really is no better than yours. When it comes to sanctions, who is more, you know, ready to impose them or to increase them and and who hurts russia more with sanctions well you need to ask yourself what the point of sanctions is and after the annexation of crimea and the action in ukraine there was a very clear need to deter russia from thinking that this form of action did not have consequences but as i was saying earlier the sort of sanctions that isolate russia actually work against our interests you need therefore to have sanctions that are targeted and specific uh, that are smart sanctions. I don't think people uh, have great hopes that sanctions are going to solve any of our problems with Russia. We need to avoid making them worse. Uh, and you have to bear in mind also that sanctions are not cost free. Uh, there are important Western interests that inevitably get harmed by sanctions uh, as well as Russian ones. Escalation management is often talked about when it comes to relations with Russia. How do you manage relations with Russia so that tactical errors or provocations don't lead to military escalation, which of course is the worst case scenario? Well, one of the things you've got to do is to communicate very clearly with Russia. I think that withdrawing ambassadors, for example, uh, would be uh, not the right thing to do in a situation like this. We have to keep the channels of communication open. We have to explain very clearly why we're doing what we're doing. We need to have measures that constrain Russia, but that um, are not designed to inflame Russia, uh, to increase the rather dangerous warmongering rhetoric that is going on already. Uh, and as I say, the deeper isolation of Russia is very much against our interests. That's not how we are going to promote change in Russia. It's by maintaining channels of communication to all the Russians that over time we can, we can promote processes of change and I hope better behavior there.